Well, howdy and welcome to Serial at Midnight. My name is Heath, and this is a stack of the latest arrivals from Imprints and ViaVision. You know, it's the same company. ViaVision releases Imprints. But not everything here is an imprint release. Uh, some of this is a ViaVision release, like Carry On. This is the first Carry On Blu-ray box set. Uh, I'm so excited to talk to you guys about Imprint because I love what they're doing. And Serial at Midnight continues to be, this is me, I'm planting a flag, continues to be uh, a complete, a source of complete coverage for imprints. If you want to know every single imprint release to date, if you want to see what they look like, this is, I'm holding up an imaginary case, or I'm doing the Hadouken, you know, I'm doing a Street Fighter 2 move. Uh, if you want to see every single imprint release to date, you can find it right here at Serial at Midnight. There's an imprint playlist, which uh, I'll link to in the description of this video, but I love what Imprint's doing. These are out of Australia, but for anyone that's wondering, I always try to say this right here at the beginning, everything that we are going to talk about, everything played perfectly fine in my Region A locked player, including some DVDs down here that say they're Region 4, but they played perfectly fine. Someone always says, now Heath, you said that these played in a Region A player, but it doesn't say that on the box. This is why I tell you this. Now I can't speak for your player, can only speak for mine. So uh, let's dive right into it. We have so much ground to cover. Thanks to Imprint and ViaVision. I truly, this is one of the highlights of my month every month. So we're kicking it off with the After Dark Neo Noir Cinema Box Sets Collection 2. So we've talked about Collection 1. See that playlist I was talking about. In fact, there it is, right there. So this is stunning freeze it if you want to see everything that's included here uh but we're gonna go through these one at a time here so these are i love these neo-noir box sets because these are the kind of movies that made me a movie fan and i, I didn't realize it, maybe this is maybe everybody feels this way i feel like i grew up at a really special time because i was getting that second way that new hollywood of the 90s uh, where the auteur thing was kind of happening all over again in a way that it hasn't for the last 20 years or so. All right, we're kicking it off with, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move these over just a little bit. Put this right here. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis in Blue Steel. Now, rather than just take, you know, read everything here to you, I'm going to hold these up. I'm going to let you freeze and read what you want to read. They're loaded with new features and there's so much stuff here, you guys. The Phallic Woman, Deconstructing Blue Steel with film historian Professor Jennifer Mormon. Heady, heady stuff, and I love it. Uh, we have so much ground to cover. I'm going to try to be... Uh, what's there? Is expedient the word? Internal Affairs, Richard Gere and uh, Andy Garcia. It's 1990, right? Yeah, 1990. So... I, I love this period in Andy Garcia's career. You know, Untouchables through Things to Do in Denver When You're Dead. They're, that's really a magic, a magical time for me. Here's the back of the box. And you know what? I want to say this on the note of imprint. Here's some things. Oh, by the way, are they, am I doing these in order? Yes. Okay. I got concern there. Does it matter? Yeah, it matters. Uh, the Crimson Rivers, this is a French film. It's in French. Jean Reno, The Professional. This is for Matilda. And uh, Vincent Cassel, Oceans. Was he 13? Which Oceans? Okay, one of the Oceans movies. Um, th this is really interesting to see because I was not expecting something like this. I tend to associate this with a, a new Hollywood movement, but this is Gaumont. Anyway. Uh, look at, look at all the, look at all this stuff, you guys. Um, more and more people are talking to me about missing out on certain titles, which is why this has been here for a day. Actually, not even a day. I get these turned around really, really quickly because this stuff sells out. And used to be, you knew that, uh, we would see like if the, you know, if the, this version sold out, like if, a, if an imprint release sold out, you know, you get the slip cover and everything. Sometimes they'd repress those. Seems less and less likely that these are getting repressed. So really, if you miss them, uh, I don't know what the odds are of them ever popping back up again. So I don't, it's not something you need to wait on if you're really curious about it or you really, really want to add something to your collection. So that's one of the reasons that I try to get these turned around as quickly as I can. 
so that you have everything you need to know before uh, you make your purchase. Way of the Gun is a movie that I love. This is one of those, um, it's, um, let me look at the, it's Christopher McQuarrie, written and directed by Christopher McQuarrie. If you know the history of uh, The Usual Suspects and that new Hollywood movement that I'm talking about, you know why this is a, a really big deal. This is a movie that, in fact, a lot of the movies we're going to be talking about here in this stack are movies that I just love, and I can't believe they're getting the kind of treatment that they're getting here. This is a big deal. we got The Yards. Um, first of all, look at this cast list. Mark Wahlberg, Joaquin Phoenix, Charlize Theron, Faye Dunaway, Ellen Burstyn, and James Caan. Rest in peace, James Caan. Tons and tons of features, but the biggest deal is we have the theatrical cut and the director's cut. It's awesome. And this is another this is a movie that blew me away when it was first released in 2002, yeah, 2002, Narc. Uh, I, so I loved Jason Patrick from the lost boys. And this was like a whole new, a whole new layer of Jason Patrick. But then you add Ray Liotta to the mix. Oh, I just realized, I just remembered Ray Liotta is not with us anymore either. <sighs> more and more. These guys that I love are, uh, leaving us. Look at all these features and I'll show you the inside. You know what I really love about these neo-noir box sets is they have, so Imprint has added a book of essays about the films, and I love an essay. I would like to contribute, but I just want to put this out there. I'm the kind of guy that wants to write essays for things like this. I really value printed material, so it does have a lot of photos of the films, but it also has really detailed uh, analyses and... Um, interpretations of the like that's i really enjoy that and i i prefer it in paper form I, I i understand and i appreciate the video essay i like written essays for the portability it's, you know it's probably my age i am a fairly old school guy i like to read that i like to have that information at my fingertips all right let me pack up after dark neo-noir cinema collection 2 i'm gonna put that right there all right another box set the roland jaffe Directed by Roland Jaffe. He's a, oh, that's, oh, hey, by the way, let's do this. Bow. Okay, now I gotta stick it back on. I'll take it off when I get to the shelving phase, but I'm not there yet, so. All right, here's the films, and let's do it. De Niro in the mission. I think this is going to be an obscure one for a lot of you guys, but The Mission is a uh, fantastic movie. All right, let's let's pop the top on this one. Let's see. Let's do them in order. The Killing Fields, heavy, heavy. So this whole box set's pretty heavy. I'm gonna, not going to lie. This this is a very, you know. Uh, oh, here I'll show you the back. Look at all. Look at look at everything, you guys. This is a very. Um, yeah, this is the heartbreaking box set. It's <laughs> the, the Roland Jaffe. But not, but you know, I'm trying to turn this around and it's not working. So I'll show you the disc like that. And then here's our second disc. Oh, the reflectiveness. The reflective. I'm not going to show you. There's just this bunch of dead bodies and stuff. Uh, the Killing Fields of Dr. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to attempt the pronunciation either. But uh, really. Uh, Lots and lots of stuff there. Let's. I, I really see. I'm watching the timer. That's what's happening here. As I, there are things that I kind of want to elaborate on, but I'm watching that timer go higher and higher, and I'm looking at the stack, and I'm like, no, no, longer videos don't get the engagement that shorter videos do. So let's. That's the chat. That's that's one of the real struggles of YouTube. Here's that's a peek behind the scenes. The longer the video, the less engagement. So it's a really tricky line to walk. Uh, Look at this, Robert De Niro, Jeremy Irons. Check out all those special features. Incredible, incredible movie. Fat Man and a Little Boy. Now, this title has been forever. I, I just, I think of the Chris Farley thing from, is it, is it Tommy Boy? He's like, fat guy and a little coat. And that's not 
that's not fair to this movie. But that is what I, when I see this title, that is what I think of. Um, this is Paul Newman, the, the king, Paul Newman, who is more and more people, I think, are catching on to the greatness that is Paul Newman. And Patrick Swayze, City of Joy. You know, this is one of the things that I love about imprints is that they'll release like a bad, bad news bears, spring training, or, you know, some, uh, an exploitation movie or, you know, a real commercial movie. But then they also release things like this. And this is a big deal because, all right, here's the first disc. Prisoners of Our Own History, the first four films of Roland Joffe. It's an entire documentary on its own disc. Um, brand new. It's stunning stuff. Okay. Now we get into the single imprint releases. This is a big one from, am I in order? Yeah. School Ties. Saw this in the theater when it came out. Fantastic movie. Brendan Fraser. This is a timely movie for Brendan Fraser, who uh, is getting a lot of press because of The Whale, right? And he's also, he was, you know, walked away from a lot of Hollywood stuff for a long time. Doom Patrol kind of brings him back, and we're talking about him again, and he's getting all these accolades, and uh, this is a great time to be talking about early Brendan Fraser. The cast on this as well. Uh, Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, Chris O'Donnell. It's like a murderer's row of uh, future, let's check this out, future stars. Affleck's kind of in the spine there. And this has a lot of stuff too. This is awesome. I'm so excited about this. Ladies and gentlemen, The Fabulous Stains. Another movie I never thought was going to get this kind of a treatment. Uh, look at everything that's included here. Uh, Diane Lane, uh, Laura Dern, sort of a punk rock coming of age story. I think, it, yeah, audio commentary by actresses Diane Lane and Laura Dern. They do an audio commentary. We also have another, holy cow, you guys. Audio commentary by the director, Lou Adler. Audio commentary by Diane Lane and Laura Dern. A third audio commentary by Lee Gambin and uh, musician journalist Allison Wolf. That's incredible. And there's, there's more. And there's even more. Let me show you the, in, the inside artwork here. Did I show you the front cover of School Ties? It's one of the things I love about these presentations is you get the multiple pieces of artwork. I think that's great. City of God, another really um, heavy but meaningful movie. Show you the inside of this one. Hopefully that's okay. These days, you never know on YouTube. Uh, Distant Thunder. I'm not. I don't even remember this movie. Yet. I've I've never seen this, and this just showed up. So I'm really curious to see this. Um, it has Ralph Macchio, who I think you know. This is another one that's maybe kind of timely because of the um the whole cobra kai thing and like the the ralph macchio renaissance as it were john lithgow as well i always call them lithgow but it's actually lithgow sort of a not sort of like a, it's one of those vietnam vet back from what's the uh he's one of the other mias missing in america one man struggle to come home. So it's that thing about these guys went, they fought for their country. And it's so interesting. But the 80s, what year is this? 1988. It's like the entire 1980s is occupied with this kind of story. But it could go different directions. On one hand, you have like Missing in Action, Rambo First Blood Part 2, or just Rambo, really, just all the First Blood movies. Uh, then you have the A-Team, 
right? Which is like the fun, you know, spin on it. Then you have all the, like, uh, there's a, a Gary Busey movie where called Eye of the Tiger, where he's, you know, it's like cleaning up the town. Like he comes home from one war to like clean up the war in his own town, that kind of a thing. Uh, and then this is like the emotionally, there's also a movie that this makes me think of called Heroes with Henry Winkler, Harrison Ford's in that. And uh, it's a, it's that thing is like, you know, people don't come back from, from war unchanged. So again, totally uh, unexpected pick there. All right. So that's all the imprint stuff. You know, I'm going to flip this around because this is pretty high prestige too. So this is from ViaVision and it's a big, big deal. This is the new 4K how, how do I want to say this? It's the 4K Blu-ray combo pack steelbook of Dirty Dancing. And uh, I've, I've done a whole video review about Dirty Dancing. I did a steelbook review for, I think maybe it was a Best Buy exclusive, the one that I did. I believe it's the same disc because when I loaded this disc in to play it, it said, would you like to resume where you left off? So I think it's the exact same disc from Lionsgate. Um, here is the... Front, this is this is not even the steel book. This is the case. This is a like a 3D lenticular cover, slip cover. Here's this is the cardboard J card. We're about to take this off. That's pretty oh, get this glue off of here. It's pretty spicy, you guys. It's pretty spicy. And let's do it. Front of the steel book. It's the back. It's got this. I don't know if it's coming through on camera. It's got a reflective quality to it. And it is a three disc edition. So the one that I already had from that's sold out now uh, is a two disc edition. This has a third, a third disc, which is a Blu-ray. So here's our 4K disc underneath that disc. We have again, a sort of a reflective metallic image. Blu-ray number one is the film and about six hours of special features. In fact, let me get the uh, tons and stuff. So two commentaries. I mean, you know what? There's too much there to read everything to you. So I'm going to let you read it for yourself. But of special interest is that third disc because that is what has Dirty Dancing the Concert Tour, Kellerman's uh, reliving the locations of the film, Dirty Dancing with Patrick Swayze, Vintage Featurette, Tributes, all kinds of stuff. Uh, I gather that there was a three disc version of this at some point. I don't know when, I don't know where. I've owned, I, This is, I think, my fourth version of Dirty Dancing, and I've never had three discs. It's always been one or two. So there's the other, under the other two discs. Quick 4K review, Dirty Dancing has never looked this good. It's never been a particularly beautiful movie because of the way that it was shot, the time and the conditions and the budget and just everything that went into the making of that movie. You know, 80s movies are not necessarily um, the best looking movies a lot of the time, but Dirty Dancing has never looked so good as it does on that 4K. It's a great presentation. It's not perfect. It's just the best of movies. It's the best Dirty Dancing is ever going to look on home media. So I'm really glad that Australians get to uh, have the time of their life as well. I, and I, heard, I heard the groans from all the way over here. This is amazing. This is, this is the first carry-on Blu-ray box set. It's the first four films in order. I believe this is the first four carry-on films, films in high definition for the first time. So I believe this is a worldwide first. You guys will let me know if I'm wrong, but I do not believe that the Carry On film, I know we can't even get a like a US release of the Carry On films. I guess it's too culturally foreign for, you know, the US market. So every I've got two versions of the Carry On films. I've got the so uh uh, uh, uh Viavision put out one like I think it was 2 months ago that we talked about. I talked about the whole thing. It's a box set. That one was region locked. Um but again, remember, everything here, perfectly fine on my region A-lock player, including these. I love the classic, you know, these movies are late 50s into early 60s. Uh, what are the actual years? 1958 to 1960. So this feels very time appropriate. This pale blue, this sort of a 50s blue, the design. 
I a lot of thought went into this box, and I really appreciate it. So the movies are Carry On Sergeant, which has William Hartnell, Doctor Who number one in it. This is, of course, before he was Doctor Who. Uh, by the way, these all have a commentary and a theatrical trailer and a photo gallery. In fact... I love that, that so there's William Hartnell. I love that we get um, the two-sided artwork on all of these releases. Okay, hold on. I want to keep these in order. So commentary on this one was with uh, Dora Bryan, Terrence Longdon, and Shirley Eaton. I just saw that um, the girl from Rio is getting it. I was, my mind is on Sumeru. She was the girl. She was... Uh, the million eyes of Sumeru. I went down a Shirley Eaton rabbit hole is what happened just now. Uh, Carry On Nurse is the second movie in the collection. Another commentary, another trailer, and another photo gallery. I really hope that Via Vision is going to see this through all the way to the end because there's a lot of Carry On movies. And... Uh, this is bold territory. When I so as an American discovering these movies chronologically, I did of course watch them chronologically. I was kind of surprised at how tame they were. They're just cheeky, but now, you know, years on, I've seen the evolution of that body British humor and how it kind of evolved. Uh, it doesn't take long. You know, once you get into the 60s, it starts to pick up. It's the it starts to perk up. Uh, Carry On Constable is the last one in the collection. Another commentary, trailer, and photo gallery. All right, so that's the Carry On films. Four films with extras in this beautiful, beautiful box set. We're almost done. Uh, two more things. So Kingdom Hospital, Stephen King's Kingdom Hospital has arrived on Blu-ray from ViaVision. And uh, again, I'm gonna say it one more time, played perfectly fine on my region A-locked player. This was shot, so it's a 2004 series, and it was shot on 35 millimeter film, and it was shot in, uh, you know, widescreen, for widescreen TVs. So it's a fairly good conversion to, to HD. I was concerned that maybe there was gonna be cropped or something like that. Um, but I had to go check the original as I don't have Kingdom Hospital on DVD. So I had to go to, to the internet, which is that we know is never wrong, but it, it told me that it was not shot with the, you know, square frame for older TVs. It was shot in widescreen for widescreen TVs. And I guess that's about the time. I, I think I updated my HD TV to a widescreen, you know, I went widescreen, I guess about 2003, some 2004, somewhere in there. Uh, so anyway, this is the entire series of Kingdom Hospital. It's a, it's an interesting series. I, I believe at one point Stephen King actually started to finance the show himself just to keep the studio executives off his back, which is a crazy... That's a crazy statement. Stephen King had to keep the executives off of his back. But it's true. And here's something that I'm really excited to discover because I knew nothing about it. This is the complete series of X Company, which was a... Let me get everybody... So it was a Canadian-Hungarian co-production which explains why I never, I'm not aware of this show. But the premise, there's a there's a movie, there's an old movie, uh, the Warner, Warner Archive put it out here in the US, it's called Operation Crossbow, and it's got George Papard in it, and Sophia Loren has a smaller part in it. And the premise of, of Operation Crossbow is, it's World War II, and they're going to send, they're training people to send behind enemy lines undercover. And this is a whole series with the exact same premise, is there are five trainees that are going to go deep behind enemy lines during World War II. Um, it's an emotionally driven character drama set in the thrilling and dangerous world of World War II espionage and covert operations. So it's an eight disc set, all three seasons, DVDs. I'm gonna say it one more time. These played perfectly fine in my Region A locked player. And now this is my Region A Blu-ray player. They're DVDs, right? So Region, region One. Uh, but I was really I'm really looking forward to discovering this. There are so many things that because because the um, just the, the way that these companies are doing these things now where everybody gets to play, the borders don't matter anymore. 
none of that matters. We just get to enjoy cool things from all over the world. And I think that we are, you know, I see so many complaints. I see so many, so many nitpicks, so many, yeah, I'm not buying that because I don't like the cover art, you know, that kind of a thing. I'm like, guys, we have access to so much of movie history and television history, and it's all at our fingertips in a way that has never been available before. You know, I'm a, I've been a movie fan my entire life and a TV show fan, a, a, a media, a pop culture fan. I've been a pop culture fan since I was young, you know, it's like 10, 11 years old. We've never had it this good. So the fact that we get to enjoy these things uh, without, you know, having to, uh, I just, I think of all the things, the hoops I had to jump through in the past to, to, try, to try to import certain things. 15 years ago, if you wanted to import something, it was so hard to do. Now, I mean, a lot of this stuff, if you're not in Australia, a lot of this stuff is on sites like Deep Discount or uh, Diabolic DVD has a lot of this stuff. I mean, it's easier than it's ever been before to get your hands on these releases. And I'm just really grateful for that. So I hope that comes through in the, the, these conversations. Uh, I, I started this video by talking about how much I enjoy covering these releases. I'm going to end it there too. I feel really privileged. This is a real treat for me to be able to talk about this stuff with you guys. Let me know what you want to pick up. Let me know what, uh, let me talk about the movies. Let's talk about the movies. That's what I want to do. The movies and the TV shows. Hey, have you seen X Company? Have you seen Kingdom Hospital? What do you think about it? Let's continue that conversation in the comments below. Guys, thank you so much. Uh, please subscribe to this channel. I forgot to say that at the beginning of the video. Subscribe. That helps us to get seen and noticed. Anything you can do, do to support this channel is so appreciated. Uh, thanks to ViVision. Thanks to Imprint. I appreciate you so very much. Take care. Until next time, I will catch you later.